The Union Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, today emphasized that the e-governance initiatives should be citizen-centric and increase transparency and accountability. Addressing the 24th National Conference on e-governance, the minister stressed the need for right and optimum use of e-governance initiatives, especially in the post-COVID era. The Election Commission has enhanced the existing election expenditure limit for candidates in parliamentary and assembly constituencies. The ceiling on parliamentary poll expenditure has been raised to Rs 95 lakh and 75 lakh respectively for bigger and smaller states. For assembly constituencies, expenditure limits have been enhanced to Rs 40 lakh and 28 lakh respectively for bigger and smaller states. The Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, will organize the Startup India Innovation Week from January 10th to 16, 2022. This week-long virtual innovation celebration aims to commemorate the 75th year of India's independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa, and is designed to showcase the spread and depth of entrepreneurship across India. Union Minister Piyush Goyal congratulated the Bureau of Indian Standards for completing 75 glorious years of its existence. While addressing the officers of Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and BIS, he said, Honorable Prime Minister, before even becoming the Chief Minister of Gujarat, gave the concept of 3S, speed, skill and scale. It's time now to change it to 4S, speed, skill, scale and standards. Working in close collaboration with the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, the Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority has taken several initiatives in making landlocked Purvanchal region as a new destination of agri-export activities through development of Varanasi Agri-Export Hub. The Varanasi region, where there are negligible agri-exports used to take place because of lack of basic infrastructure, is now a buzz with activities which has given a boost to exports.